Have you ever wondered about the political intricacies that led to the construction of the Ram Mandir in Ayodhya? Well, the story is as captivating as it is complex. The Ram Mandir, an iconic symbol of faith for millions, is deeply intertwined with the political fabric of India. The journey to its construction is a tale of political maneuvers, strategic decisions and influential personalities. The Bharatiya Janata Party, or BJP, played a pivotal role, championing the cause for decades. The influence of the Prime Minister and the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, two towering figures in Indian politics, cannot be understated. Their decisions, their words, their actions all had a profound impact on the course of events leading to the construction of the Mandir. This intricate dance between religion and politics is a fascinating study of the dynamics of power. Now, let's delve deeper into the timeline of political events that fueled the construction of the Ram Mandir. The journey to the construction of the Ram Mandir is a long and complex one filled with strategic political maneuvers. Our timeline begins in the early 1980s. The Vishwa Hindu Parishad, a right-wing Hindu nationalist organization, started a campaign to reclaim the site where the Babri Masjid stood, claiming it as the birthplace of Lord Ram. This campaign gained traction as it resonated with many Hindus across the country. This led to the formation of a new political alignment with the Bharatiya Janata Party better known as the BJP, aligning itself with the cause. In 1989, the BJP officially included the construction of the Ram Mandir in its election manifesto, turning it into a national political issue. Fast forward to 1992 and the situation had escalated. Despite court orders prohibiting any construction or demolition at the disputed site, a large mob of Kar Sevaks demolished the Babri Masjid. This triggered widespread communal riots across the country causing a deep religious divide. In the 2014 general elections, the BJP, led by Narendra Modi, came into power with an overwhelming majority. The party reiterated its commitment to the construction of the Ram Mandir in its manifesto. The case of the disputed site continued in the courts for many years. Finally, on November 9, 2019, the Supreme Court of India delivered its verdict. The court ruled in favor of the temple, paving the way for the construction of the Ram Mandir, while also ordering the allocation of a separate piece of land for the construction of a mosque. Throughout this timeline, the role of the BJP and other political parties has been significant. They have used the Ram Mandir issue strategically to mobilize voters and shape the political discourse in the country. As we can see, the path to the Ram Mandir was paved with political intentions and power plays. The journey to its construction is a testament to how religion and politics intertwine in India, shaping not just the political landscape but also the physical one. The building of the Ram Mandir goes beyond a mere construction project. It is a tale of political ambition, religious sentiments and a quest for power. Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've just traced. A journey that has spanned decades of political maneuvering and religious fervor. The construction of the Ram Mandir, a colossal edifice in the city of Ayodhya, is a testament to the complex interplay of politics and religion that characterizes much of India's socio-political landscape. This journey begins with the Bharatiya Janata Party, or BJP, a political entity that recognized the potency of melding religious sentiment with political ambition. The party saw in the Ram Mandir a potent symbol, one that could galvanize the masses and bolster their political standing. But it's not just about the BJP. The Ram Mandir narrative has been a stage where many actors have played their parts. It has seen the rise of leaders, the fall of governments and the shifting allegiances of various political factions. It has witnessed the nation's highest court grappling with a dispute steeped in history and emotion, eventually paving the way for the temple's construction. The implications of this journey extend beyond the physical structure of the Ram Mandir. It has far-reaching effects on India's political landscape, shaping discourse, influencing elections and impacting policy-making. The temple has become a symbol not just of religious devotion, but of political aspiration and power dynamics. And yet, as we navigate this intricate tapestry of politics and religion, it's crucial to remember that at the heart of it all lies the faith of millions. The Ram Mandir is more than a symbol or a political tool. For countless devotees, it's a place of worship, a testament to their belief and a beacon of their religious identity.
The Ram Mandir is not just a place of worship, but also a symbol of a political journey, one that has shaped and continues to shape India's political narrative. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history.